Hello friends, uh, today we are going to see how to configure static routing. So basically this is our uh, scenario. So this is subrate network in between two routers. This is router 1, router 2 and this is subrate network 1.168.1.1.0 uh, I mean uh, this is slash 24 network. 1.168.1.1 is here and the 1.2 is here. First with the net 0 slash 0. This is the one I mentioned here details about the router configuration. And uh, here is the thing uh, this is PC1, machine 1, machine 2. PC1 uh, network is in 10.10.10.0 10 slash 24 network. In this one, 10.10.10.2 10 10 is the PC IP address. And uh, here is 10.10.10.1. .10 .10 this is the IP address for this router interface. And here also the same thing 10.10.20.2 is the PC IP address and 10.10.20.1 is the router IP address. Basically, in this one, uh, we consider this router interface IP address as a gateway in this PC. We'll configure all these things in this lab. Okay, let's get started. So, this is PC1. Let me configure the IP address for you. 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 2 slash 24 space 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 1 is the gateway IP address. This is the thing if you give show IP command, it shows the IP address details. This is the we configured here 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 2 is the PC IP address and 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 1 is the gateway ip address it's nothing but ethernet 2 slash 0 ip address of router 1 and in the same way let me configure the pc2 so ip 10.10.20.1 slash 24 space 10.10.20.1 10 is a gateway IP address. So if you give command show IP, it shows the IP address details. This is the one 10.10.20.2 10 is a PC IP address and 10.10.20.1 10 is a IP address of this router 2 interface, Ethernet 2 slash 0 interface IP address. That will be configured in this session. So let me save the configuration here in the PC1 also same. So PC1 and two configurations are done now. Let me jump into router one configuration now. So show IP interface brief. There is nothing is configured uh, in interfaces on interfaces fast Ethernet 0 slash 0, 2 slash 0 or empty now. So let me configure the IP addresses as per the our diagram. Go to config T interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. Enter IP address 192.168. 1.1 1 .1, 255 255 255.0 enter and give the no shade down command and uh, let me configure the interface let me come back to the interface mode interface ethernet 2 slash 0 and the IP address is 10.10.10.1 10 10 10 space 255.255.255.0 nothing but slash 24 so give the no shutdown command control c then show ip interface brief here is the status i have configured uh, 192.168.1.1 on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and Ethernet to slash zero, I configure 10.10.10.1. .10 .10 
so pc i mean router one configuration ip addresses configuration is done let me configure the same thing on router two so config t config terminal interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 ip address 192.168.1.2255.255.255.0 give the no shutdown command exit interface ethernet 2 slash 0 ip address 10.10.20.1 and 255 255 255.0 give the no shutdown command that's it let me verify the configuration now show ip interface brief here is the thing i configured the fast ethernet 0 slash 0 as 192.168.1.1 and uh, here uh, this is the one interface i configured with this one and 10.10.21 .10 this is the one i configured like that and let me jump into this one and in router 1 i configured 192.168.1.1 is this ip address i configured and uh, 10.10.10.1 10 is a ethernet to slash 0 interface ip so now interfaces configuration is completely done and uh, let's verify the communication from pc1 to pc2 ping 10.10.20.2 10 is it pinging no so here is the thing TTL time MSSMP destination host unreachable. Here is the thing we are getting the error destination host unreachable. So this is not reachable now. And uh, similarly, we can verify from PC2 to PC1 also. Ping 10. 10. 10. 2. This is also same this is not reachable from the pc2 also so let's jump into the router one and let's verify this is the configuration so let me configure the static route here ip root so on router one i am configuring route towards this network 10.10.20.0 so let me verify what are the routes available in this router before configuring the static route show ip route so if you click on start show ip route if you enter that so we are getting these networks only on router 1 10.10.10.0 is available and uh, it is connected to 2 slash 0 nothing but this router and this interface so in 192.168.1.0 this is connected to fast ethernet 0 slash 0 so these two networks are available in this router so if any packet reaches to this interface i mean this router this pc should be able to ping these networks nothing but 192.168.1.0 is available 1.1 can be we can ping this ip address so but 10.10.20.0 network is not available so it cannot reach the that network from router also if you would like to check the communication from the router also it will not reachable before and i mean before existing any route so 20.1 for example so this ip i'm trying to reach but it is not reachable and let me stop it and let me configure the start it route directly okay config t ip root 10.10.20.0 destination network we have to queue and destination network submit mask we have to queue after that to reach this network so either you can give 
these things forwarding router's IP address either this IP address next hop IP address you can give or either exit interface also you can give here generally okay so let me configure that 192.168.1.2 is the next hop IP address I'm giving the next hop IP address in this case okay this is done in the similar way from the router 2 also to come the reverse traffic we have to configure the static route in router 2 also let me jump into the router 2 and uh, config t ip root ten dot ten dot ten dot zero slash twenty four nothing but two five five two five five two five five dot zero and this network i am configuring this is the destination network from the router 2 so what is the uh, next hop ip address here 192.168.1.1 is the next hop ip so let me configure that enter that's it let me verify the configuration from here first now I am in router 1. Let me verify the configuration. Show IP route. This is the one. Now we have a static route entry. This is nothing but static route entry here. You can see clearly. This is a static route entry. And uh, to reach this network, it should pass through 192.168.1.1. Nothing but to reach this network, router 1 should send the traffic to fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and here like this it will pass so because we mentioned this as the next hope in the same way in in router 2 if you go to router 2 let me show you that show ip route here is the thing this is the static route we mentioned here 10.10.10.0.24 10 network to reach this network the traffic should pass through the 192.168.1.1 means to to reach this network the packet should send to this ip address nothing but this ip address so if any traffic comes as a destination i mean to reach the destination to this network so router to router 2 will send the packets to this router like this it works so let me try from pc1 now just now i am trying from pc1 to pc2 just hit enter the first packets a timeout timeout because arp table will form initially so now if you hit enter it is working fine now so from pc1 you are able to ping pc2 successfully using static route that's it guys let me check it from the pc2 to pc1 now the same one so we can use up arrow and hit enter that's it guys already our table formed so we are able to ping this ip address successfully now so static root configuration is done in generally we have to save the configuration also by giving write command in order to also you can save the configuration giving write command if you would like to see the running configuration you can see show running configuration this is the configuration and you can see our internet uh, interfaces configuration and uh, if you come downwards here is the static route you configured it in the similar way you will have in router 2 also This is the van and this is a static route. That's it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.